being in critical care, it's a very high stress environment. You know, we're often with patients and families on on their worst day or during, you know, the worst period of their life. And that's a very stressful time and we understand that. Uh, but definitely I had, you know, been punched, kicked, um, arms grabbed, uh, verbally assaulted. Um, sometimes, you know, as a nurse, you, you want to care for these people, you want to nurture them. So you think, well, they didn't really mean it, or, you know, they're coming out of anesthesia or, you know, they're really sick right now. But at the end of the day, it's not, it's not right. It's not, it's not okay. As we were attempting to give him this medication, he grabbed my right arm and then in the sort of scuffle, he was able to get a hold of this syringe. The plunger had come out, so the medication was, you know, on the floor or something. Um, and of course, the needleless adapter didn't detach. The cap actually came off. So he had a weapon now. And that's exactly what he said. He had a hold of me. I was very close to him, probably at one point within two inches of his face. Um, he is verbally very aggressive. He's screaming expletives in my face. And he now has this weapon and he says, this is like what they use in prison to kill people. I could kill you right now. And I mean, I it's still hard to think about that. I know I'm <laughs> smiling now, but it it that moment was I mean, everything stopped. I was I was scared for my life at that point. Um, I remember hearing that security said that they couldn't intervene, that um, they weren't allowed to touch the patient. And at the time, I don't I don't know what I was expecting, but I was at least expecting the hospital security to to come to my aid and to to separate me from this individual and to um, bring me to safety. So in the, the weeks that followed, we did um, what's called a, um, a root cause analysis, an RCA. So I clearly remember the risk manager say in that meeting, I don't get why we're even having this RCA. This happens all the time. At my old hospital, we wouldn't have even, you know, batted an eye to this, that this was not something that warranted this level of a response. And I was pretty adamant that he was coming back. He was coming back to receive medical care and we should know better. I worked really hard to become a nurse and I loved it. I was good at it. And, you know, especially now with the COVID-19 pandemic and the amount of physical and emotional stress that our frontline healthcare workers are under, I think it's really important to be talking about this because we need to protect them. And, you know, I feel bad that I can't, <laughs> sorry, um, I feel bad that I can't be standing side by side with them and, and helping them, um, that that was, that was taken away from me, you know? So 